How do you survive infidelity? We often hear from different sources how cases of infidelity have risen in recent times. In the Philippines, there is the added pressure for couples living in distant locations around the world. Millions of Filipinos fight loneliness and leave loved ones behind for contractual work overseas. To start off, it is critical to know the motivations behind indiscretions that can happen without warning. In my experience, affairs are not consciously pursued by the erring party. It often happens that people just find themselves caught up in situations when their commitments to their partners are at a low point, while they happen to meet someone interesting, or more often, someone interested. The manner that the affair is discovered can also play a role. Plus, there's the added factor that in our technological world, it is much easier for people to get first-hand accounts of flirtatious exchanges through any of the various social media networks. They witness the whole affair from its inception, which could have been unlikely if the technology weren't not available. An affair or affairs will alter the roles that each party plays in the relationship. Upon discovery or confession, the offended party will naturally feel a mix of emotions. There will be anger, hurt, betrayal, and suspicion. The erring party, on the other hand, will primarily experience guilt and shame. The couple then assumes roles of one being an inquisitor and the other a defender. The frequent result is a chase. The hurt party will be out for revenge and begin wanting to ask a barrage of questions to appease agitated and painful feelings. In other words, the offended party is on the attack. The transgressor, however, would want nothing less than to put it all behind them. There's confusion as to why one sincere and heartfelt apology does not seem enough. The transgressor is now in escape mode. So goes the dance of a relationship in terrible distress at the moment that the affair is unraveled. They never seem to meet someplace where they can discuss matters rationally and without major altercations. The affair is now taking its toll on the relationship, making it feel like the couple is slowly drifting towards indifference and ultimately an end. The key here is knowing the true needs of each one in the aftermath of an affair. The aggrieved party needs above all else reassurance that the whole misstep is temporary and will not linger any longer. What they crave for are words of assurance and empathy towards their searing pain. For the offending party, however, his or her needs may have to be put on hold. With intervention and the display of genuine contriteness, he or she may eventually get the chance to air grievances which could have contributed to the misstep. In the immediate aftermath of the discovery, there is always an imbalance in the relationship. The aggrieved party would tend to take moral ascendancy. The result is a one-up, one-down relationship. The goal of therapy then, is to get them back to a relationship where they see themselves on equal footing. After all, a relationship that has lasted for so long is still certainly worth another try. Once again, this is Nathan Chua, inviting you all to visit my website www.onelifeonly.net and for those of you watching this on YouTube, Please do like and subscribe and until the next video, you take care. Bye bye for now.